Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. After. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than a day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Should probably get that fixed. Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. It wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stinks, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. You all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. 
damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Now, if it's blood, you know what happened. No, I... there's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. here too what you mean there's a clean space in the dust over here oh maybe one of junior's toys or something i mean who knows if you're gonna say something out with it that broken lamp used to be here right just tell me what happened nothing happened mate nothing and why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. I think my junior has a crush on your girl. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. Oof. Toad, I know you're lying about the lamp. Well, the lamp fell, is all. I bumped it, coming, coming in from the, the, the thing. The lamp could not possibly have fallen, Toad. You had it plugged in over here the whole time. Someone ripped the lamp out of the wall and threw the thing. That's what happened, isn't it? What is it? I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. There's just... there's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse-engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. 
Come on now. We're friends, right? And why is the lock busted? Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. A spot of dust and a broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Why'd you climb in through the window then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. I should probably get that thing fixed. Just tell me what's going on. What is it, mate? Toad, I know you're lying about the door. Fucking hell, Big B, I forgot my keys. Can't a grown frog just forget his latch for a bit? This wood might have rotted, but it just made the kicking it in part easier. I know you, Toad. You'd sleep in your smashed up car's glove box before you think to climb in the fucking window. Tell me what's up, right now. You know what happens if you don't. We've already been through this, mate. Bigby, look, I'm sorry, but there's just nothing to say. Now, please, think of my boy before you do something rash. Come on, now. We're friends, right? <clears throat> oh, Jesus! You're gonna tell me, right now, what the fuck happened before we showed up. Bigby! If it even has the faintest whiff of bullshit, I'm gonna... Dad! Bigby, is this really necessary? Oh. He's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad! Oh my god. Take off your hat. Higby, you didn't... He didn't. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame D. You gotta strip him down to the Johnnies before you can tell which is which. He come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. It's been a hard morning, I can tell you that. What did you tell him? If you're worried about your own skin, forget it. I didn't tell him nothing about you or your shit. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? 
I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. You'll be all right. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. This is a murder investigation, Snow. Things aren't that simple. If we try and do everything at once all the time, some things are going to slip through the cracks. Just leave it to me, all right? Let's see what happens when we get inside. All right. Can you hear me? Don't just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Can you hear me? Are you okay? Hey, answer me! Water. Kitchen. Did you find it yet? Did this to you. <laughs> Faith. Still have that letter? Yes. Shh. 
should I open it? I'm not sure if it's right. You should. There might be something that helps us. A clue. Or a lead. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Faith. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry too. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Would someone want to kill him? <laughs> what is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. That doesn't really help. Thank you. 
dusty. No one's read these in a while. Secondhand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias. Stay here! No! Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! On the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? Had some questions for Larry. Didn't think it'd go how it did. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Then who did? Look. I was just asking him about the girl, that's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who are you, exactly? I'm Dee, and I'm a private investigator. There's a business card in my shirt pocket. You can see for yourself. This is for a sandwich shop. Really? Huh. Must have run out. Who hired you? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No. I'm D. He's dumb. He almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on. Get up. Guess we're out of options. Dee mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. <laughs> 